Chinese company you may not have heard of just made history. Li Suan Technology has unveiled the world's first fully domestic 6 nanometer GPU line, and it's not just a science project. This thing claims to match RTX 4060, and maybe, just maybe, it's the start of a whole new chapter in the GPU wars. Meet the 7G100 series Extreme cards, powered by Li Suan's all-new true GPU Tiantu architecture. What makes this special? Everything, from the instruction set to the compute core, was built in-house. No borrowed blueprints, no licensing shortcuts. True GPU is all about efficiency. Its scheduler can juggle 48 tasks at once. Li Suan calls it intelligent multitasking, cutting wasted cycles to almost zero. There's even an out-of-order triangle engine that claims a 50% boost in rasterization for heavy scenes. And then there's NRSS upscaling, Li Suan's homegrown rival to DLSS and FSR plus virtualization tech that can split one card into 16 virtual GPUs for AI and cloud rendering. Two cards are launching first. The 7G106 is the gaming card, 12GB of GDDR6, a 192-bit memory bus, and 24 teraflops of FP32 compute. One 8-pin connector, about 225 watts, and performance claims that might make NVIDIA nervous. The 7G105 doubles the memory to 24 gigabytes of ECC GDDR6, adds SRIOV support, and even handles 8K AV1 and HEVC media, built for AI labs and content creators who need raw horsepower. So, how does it perform? Li Suan says 3D Mark Firestrike hits 26,800 points. That's RTX 4060 territory. Geekbench 6 OpenCL? around 111,000 points, about 10% ahead of the 4060. In their own demos, Black Myth Wukong and Shadow of the Tomb Raider ran at 70 to 80 frames per second at 4K high settings. Of course, those are Lee Swan's numbers. The real test will come when third-party reviewers get their hands on these cards. Drivers, software maturity, and real-world stability will make or break this launch. Sampling starts this August. Mass production? September 2025. If the claims hold, this isn't just a GPU launch, it's the first time a fully homegrown Chinese graphics card might actually compete with AMD and NVIDIA in gaming, AI, and the cloud. The GPU race just got a new challenger.